Hello, my friends. I am Peyman Motahede, the president of Freedom Law School, which I created in 1996. I'll be showing you in this presentation how to sell real estate with no 1099 misinformation snitch form report going to the IRS. Many of these forms are sent by closing or teller companies because they misunderstand the law. Their forms are wrong. Here's an example. They ask you here, you know, to, and they're telling you they're going to issue you a substitute form 1099-S, okay? However, folks, okay, when you look at the law that they're using, this is a law, section 6045, return on brokers, that they are referring to, that they believe requires them to send out this information 1099 about you to other people, okay? They say every person doing business as a broker. Hmm, okay, as a broker. They mention here that any real estate reporting person, okay, that I do this stuff. But you look further in the same section 6045C4 on the definitions, okay, what they do is they tell you right there that the person includes any governmental unit and agency uh, or instrumentality thereof. It all applies only to federal government entities. Yep, because the Revenue Code, folks, applies only folks to government people like trader businesses, functions of public office performance. That's right, not you. And the term United States, again, by definitions, in Title 26, in the Revenue Code, Section 7701, when using this title, Title 26, look at this, folks. United States term, I've covered this before, means only the District of Columbia, plus states, which is also the District of Columbia. Yep, all this applies only to D.C. You go down to 830 now and look at the United States person. They want to claim you are. You are not one of those either because that's a citizen or resident of Washington, D.C. See, it's all being misapplied. All of this is being misapplied. And right now, I'll have the forms on our website yet. In the future, I will. But we're helping our people who join our Restore Freedom Plan help you with the real estate transaction so no false 1099 goes out about your real estate sales to the IRS. Yes, folks, this is possible. I don't care if it's $1 million or $100 million. Makes no difference. No 1099 should go to the IRS about your real estate sale. For more details, watch the more complete video in the description below. The link is there. Watch that, and you're going to get the more details. Lift free now, my friends, and go to freedomlawschool.org, our website. There it is, freedomlawschool.org, for the source of truth and freedom from the swamp that you've been looking for and living a free life now.